Hello there. How are you? My name is Dr. Friedrich, and I've been studying about this little problem. Well, actually, it's not a little problem. It's a very big problem known as neuronal ceroid lipofusinosis. There is a lot of big words, but most people, they just call it the Batten disease. So, in the Batten disease, what is the problem? The problem is this. We have a cell nucleus here, which is like the software for the cell. We have endoplastic reticulum here, which is like a network of factories that make different proteins and fats that are sent on to their destination in the body. Number three, we have these little jelly bean looking things here, which are the mitochondria, or the little battery packs, if you can see them. And third are our very good friend, these green little fellows known as the lysosome. Our lysosomes are very special friends indeed. They act as the recycling centers that take out all of this nasty garbage we have been talking about. In Batten disease, all of the garbage starts to pile up in the brain, causing many, many terrible problems for these children, which most of you here have heard about before. As we spoke of earlier, we have the cell here. These little liney things that are yucking everything up is the garbage in the brain. We need to make TPP1, a very special chemical or enzyme that will chop up all of these little lines and kick it out of the cell, making everything better. How do we fix this nasty problem of too much garbage in the brain? Well, we have three different approaches we will talk about today. Number one, we will try enzyme replacement therapy. In this kind, we synthetically make the enzyme or chemical that the children are missing. We will inject it into the brain. It will circulate around and make everything much, much better. Number two, gene therapy. We take uh, a virus, like maybe uh, <coughs> a cold virus or oh, a flu virus. We combine it with the TPP1. We put it into the brain, it circulates and takes out all of the nasty garbage. Number three, stem cell therapy. For this, we need very special type of stem cell, which can make its own a TPP1. We inject this into the brain, it circulates around, it takes out all that nasty garbage that we spoke about, and once we have this in the brain, everything will be A-O-K, yes. Hi, I'm Dr. Harrison from Hope for Bridget. Hi, I'm Dr. Emily from Noah's Hope. Together we're working on a treatment for abandoned disease. Let's get to work. But safety first. This is Keto 4.1, our first solution. We have some batten cells here, and we're going to try the Keto 4.1 to clear all the bad garbage in the batten cells. Bummer! Well, that didn't work. MDD90. Our next test solution. I think we're getting closer. I think so too. Next, next up is the BS100. And, and we're, we're going to try a lot. Epic fail. I wouldn't want that in my brain. So, another problem we have with many rare diseases is we are really not so sure how many of these children there are in the world. 
So now, we are finally going to count these children from all around the world. We have a very special lady, Dr. Angela Schultz in Germany, who is taking on this project. Counting all these children is very, very important in designing new clinical trials for new medicines all over the world. Dr. Angela Schultz will be counting the children in Germany, Italy, the United Kingdom, Finland, and India to begin with. She came to us a year ago and asked to expand this counting into Norway, Denmark, France, Turkey, Argentina, Brazil, and the United States of America. So, how do we think we can fix this problem of the Batten disease? One way that Hope for Bridget, Noah's Hope, and BDSRA have been working on is this enzyme replacement therapy, or ERT. To do this, we have the same problem in the cell. Here is the cell, here is the lysosome, and here is all that nasty black garbage that we spoke about that causes all the problems for these special children. We have been working with a company that will synthetically make this enzyme or chemical. We will give it to the children via the spine or into the brain, and hopefully, again, everything is A-OK. -okay. So, thank you all so very much for coming out today and learning about our not-so-little problem in the Batten disease. Oh, I, I hear my phone ringing. Oh, this? No. <laughs> but I like the maracas. Hey! This? Oh. No, I save that for later. Ah, here we go. Ah, where's it? Hello? Uh, yes? Oh, that is very exciting indeed in the laboratory. Okay, oh, thank you. We'll be right there. Ah, that was the lab. They have made a very exciting discovery. Let's go see what it was. Doctors, I think I found a special medicine. And now we will try the AFS 003.